How's it going? Charles Botenston. Today, and, and I know I say this every single time, that this is what is really important. What I'm about to say is really important. I know I say that every time, but this truly is something really important. It's going over my goals um, for this year. Obviously, it's on this side. <clears throat> but what I've noticed is I say it every single day, and I highly recommend you do too, is that you have to say your goals. And then this is the biggest thing is that we are now a couple of months into the new year and it doesn't feel like the new year anymore because we're already looking towards the middle of the year. And this is the biggest thing about your goals is that, is that if you are not reaching your goals, you're not on the path to reaching your goals, you have to adjust. You have to adjust. If you don't adjust, then you're going to stop going towards your goals. In other words, if you're like, I want to lose 10 pounds and you buy this date and you've only lost five and another five is like within two or three days or a week, you'll be like, you know what, screw it, whatever. <clears throat> I'm not going to reach it. Might as well just not go to the gym. Might as well just eat like crap. Might as well just get soda and alcohol in me and just, and it's the same thing with me is that I didn't reach the goals that I wanted in business. <clears throat> I had these little, very lofty goals when I started the year, like 10x, as Grant Cardone says, 10x to what I've been producing. And I'm nowhere near it. So today, I was looking at it and I was like, wow, I'm, I'm nowhere near it. That's The first thing is awareness. You know, Gary Vaynerchuk talks about it all the time, is that self-awareness. You have to understand, okay, I'm not on, I'm on, not on the path for it. Instead of looking at it and saying that I'm failing, I'm a failure, I failed, any of those words, those terrible words, as we say for psycho-cybernetics, like uh, Shal Hamstetter says, or John Kehoe in Mind Power, if you want to look those up, psycho-cybernetics or Mind Power, everything you say becomes reality. So instead of saying those words, I say, okay, we need to adjust. And as Grant Cardone says, you have, it's not decreasing the goal, it's increasing action. So the problem with me, problem is a bad word, but the concern with me is I need to increase action. So now I have accountability. So this is the biggest thing is if you're off your track, if you're off your goal, if you're off what you where you want to be in life, you have to figure out first, I'm off track. Second is you say, okay, where do I want to be? I have a concrete number in my mind exactly how much I need to produce to get the number I need to get. In other words, how much, how many phone calls I need to make, how many referrals I need to receive, how much business I need to close, how many properties I need to list. I need, I need to know that number. It's like literally be like, ah, uh, yeah, I just got to lose weight, or I, yeah, I just need to get business done. No, you, you, you need a concrete number. You weigh 200 pounds, you want to get to 190, 10 pounds. What do I need to do to get there? And then you have a date set. It's not 10 pounds whenever you want. And then the biggest thing is it needs to become a lifestyle. So for me is that I was taking the action to get the goals, but it wasn't consistent. And as you saw from my previous videos is that if you don't have consistency, then you will not have momentum. And momentum is the key to success. If you have consistency and then you stop, you're not going to get momentum. There's two totally, they are two totally different things. So I'm reviewing it today and I'm saying, okay, <clears throat> I, I need to drop the goal. I'm not happy I need to drop the goal, but you know what? I would rather have a goal that I achieve that brings me to where I want to be. There's things that I want. There's, there's things this year, you know, that I want to do. I want to become a skydiving instructor. That costs money. All right, next year I want to get a motorcycle. <clears throat> Excuse me, that costs money. So for me to go where I want to go, and obviously those are two things, but I have many things on here. You know, I have a uh, YouTube subscribers, how many I want. I want to be, you know, I want to upgrade where I live. I want a passive income stream. I want to become the top for sale by owner caller in New York City. I want to become the top cycling instructor at Equinox, these are lofty goals. But the thing is, you have to check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> it's as corny as the saying is, it's true. You have to check yourself. You have to check, am I on the path? Daily accountability, 
hourly accountability, minute by minute. What decisions can you make? Perfect example, I live in an elevator building, but if the elevator's not down on the ground floor, I run up the five stories and I just say, you know what? I'm looking at how much time I would save for that thing to come down because it's an older building as you can see by the brick walls. So it's gonna come all the way down, then I have to open the door, get in there and go all the way up. It's like, no dude, and it's health wise, I just take the stairs. So when you're off your, your goals, when you're off tr your track, or whatever, wherever you're, you're going. One is understand it, witness it, know that you are off. Number two is you have to recalibrate. So I'm recalibrating right now. Unfortunately, I have to lower the goal and increase the action and then get specific. Have a specific number. Don't say I wanna lose weight or I wanna make more money or for me, I wrote I wanna have a passive income stream. I don't care. As long as it's a dollar, two dollars, I'm not saying I want a one million dollar passive income stream, but then I have future goals of what I want. You know, I wanna, I wanna have, I wanna be able to fly first class in three years and only fly first class in three years. I wanna have a private driver. I wanna become a helicopter pilot. These are things within three years that I wanna do. And then I scratched off within three years to be a scuba open water, scuba dive open water certified. Uh, within 10 years, I want to have money flowing to me from talking, writing, coaching, and owning a business, kind of like Gary Vaynerchuk. I can't stress this enough. It's like, if you don't have an arrow, it, it, I mean, I'm sorry, if you don't have a target, the arrow is going to go nowhere. If you don't have a keel in your boat, you're going to capsize. If you don't have uh, a rudder, you have no direction where to go. If you don't have a sail, you're not going to go anywhere. You know, it's like everything in life, uh, water flows down in a, in a specific direction. And that's what you're gonna be like if you don't have an actual way that you're gonna navigate life. You know, you need a goal, it needs to be specific, it has to have a timestamp on it. That's why you can see that I'm so passionate about it right now because I'm going through the struggle as much as you are. You know, I don't know what your goals are and I just told you some of mine is that you'll see me do it or not do it to accomplish the goals or not accomplish the goals, you know? But you have to have accountability and you have to have it very specific. Mine is very specific. I need to make a certain amount of phone calls every single day to get a certain amount of closed business, to get a certain amount of income post uh, taxes. You know, that's how specific you need to get is post taxes, post your, your lifestyle, things like that. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat. Snapchat, I'm just absolutely destroying Snapchat. I freaking love that thing. You'll see me doing some, some funny things, some, you know, everything like that. iCharles.com, I put up a post as well. And just let me know, you know, where are you at? You know, it, we're all going through the struggle. Don't look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm a little minnow right now, you know, and I know language is big and everything like that. But look at the people that are, that have done it the Richard Bronsons, the Bill Gates, the Warren Buffetts, you know, what disciplines, what sacrifices did they need to do to get to where they are? Huge. Anyway, have an awesome day. I'm trying to keep this short. I know it's very passionate from the heart. I can't believe I just talked for nine minutes. But anyway, have an awesome day. Leave a comment below about what you're struggling or an area that you really want to improve. Is it health, wealth, love, or happiness? Those are really the only four categories. Have an awesome day. Subscribe to the channel. Talk to you soon.